Welcome to Luttenberg, a very small town in the east side of the Netherlands. And I'm gonna show you what you can actually do here. If we zoom in, you'll be surprised what it is. Because it's all small wooden clocks or wooden shoes, depending on where you live. So we are at a clock wooden shoe workshop. And probably a lot of people think when they think of the Netherlands or Holland, how you pronounce it, uh, you think of clock. And here they even hang in trees to show you where it is. And they have also a very nice shop with a lot of typical Dutch or wooden toys. It's surprising what you can all do with wood. If you're very creative like the owner is here. You see different types. Uh, he's giving demonstrations too in his workshop. It actually takes like a half day to make a whole pair of clocks. And uh, the learning of it, he told me, uh, it takes seven years to be able to make good clocks because they have to fit, of course. And you can see that he even make uh, wooden boots. And they are so creative, they even made a clocks mosaic out of it. It's some kind of captain. And if you zoom in, you can see they're all small clocks. So it's all about clocks and wooden shoes. And here's another painting. So they have a natural clocks and they really paint every clock uh, separately and then uh, make it into a clock mosaic. And the newest one is all related to Netherlands, of course, is the famous painting of Vermeer. You probably want to watch the other video too, because he invited me for a demonstration he is giving on Tuesday for a whole group. So I'm gonna film that too and you will see much more surprises. So Museum Luttenberg, uh, it's called uh, Agriculture Machinery Museum, but actually at this time they are really building it to make it an even better museum. So the name is actually not accurate, because this is already a side of what they want to do also. So they are going to put in that people can see what you eat on your plate where did it come uh, from? So they do it in reverse. So this is actually about the cow and all about the milk. And they're gonna do something how bread is making. And of course they still have the agriculture machinery, what farmers used to do, but they are gonna do so much more. This is a replica, but it is how the toilets used to be. Very romantic with the heart in it. Tin can collection. They even have a candle maker here. So how you call it? Yeah, you can make candles here. So you have to... Uh, of course pay a small fee to do it but then you can make your own candle here we are in the museum of Luttenberg and this is like how the people used to live in the past history we call this like a bed stay so uh, yeah bed stay so you uh, it actually can, as you can see, it has doors, so you, so the beds were very small then, and you can actually close the door. 
Now here is like how the kitchen used to be. A cow and all that equipment the farmer uses and the veterinarian. And all this in this is donated by a veterinarian. And it's actually a little bit gross, I think. The animals who didn't get born. The local pool is run by volunteers. It's not a very big pool, but it is it does the job. You can still cool down if it's very hot and it's open in the summer when it's over the temperature is over 20 degrees and Lutherberg has a very nice surprise on cultural because they have their own theater outdoors here in the woods it's still active so in the spring summer times they still use it and you can visit it. A small town can be full of surprises. We have actually here a small replica of the cave of Lourdes. When you walk the countryside, you should always carry on a wallet with some money because you can always pass a farm that sells products they have a lot of. In this case, these are flowers. Most of the times it is eggs or some beans. In a small house in front of their farm, they have this big freezer. They even explain what part of the cow is which part of the meat and as you can see there is actually a vending machine you can pay with card or cash Lutenberg has its own sort of mountain woods because in translation Lutenberg means Lutten mountain well the mountain we don't actually have mountains in the Netherlands because the highest peak on the Lutenberg is 31 meters above sea level but it is actually very nice for walking or exercising because all across this hill they have uh, help to do exercise and also here on the mountain but also on other areas of course they have all signs so you can do different types of walks so although it looks very small it actually a very nice area because the best attraction is the nature. Uh, this is not a national park, but actually Luttenberg is surrounded by a few of national parks. So if you, it doesn't matter if you go left or right, there are more national parks. Really totally worth for cycling, mountain biking or walking or uh, exercise, of course. And actually, totally different subject but just outside Luttenberg there is an amusement park Aventurenpark so adventure park this is very cool area 
with uh, how do you call it? roller coasters, water slides, so totally different than the nature. Uh, for a small town, the, the Luttenberg and its surroundings has a lot to offer.